श्रुति स्मृति आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत पाद शंकर लोक शंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव वादनायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवत ईश्वर गुरुरा मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम गुकारस्पंदो वैकारस्पंदोकारस्तवर्त अंधकार निरूति गुरुरीयते सदा शिव सकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा तेजस्वीनावदीतमस्तु विश्वाई शांति 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 आप्यायंतु मंगाने प्राणश्चक्षुश्रोत्रवथो बलमेन्द्रिया चाणश्चक्षुश्रोत्रवथो बलमेन्द्रिया चौपनिषद ब्रह्मस्तु तदात्मनीरतेय उपनिषत्सु धर्मा ते मयि सन्तु ते मयि सन्तु 
शांति 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 वज्र सुचिम प्रवक्षा शास्त्र अज्ञान भेदन दूषण ज्ञान भूषण ज्ञान चक्षुस्सा ब्रह्मक्षत्रिय वैश्य शुद्रा चार वर्ण वर्ण ब्राह्मण एवं प्रधान वेद वचन अनुरूप स्मृति अभी उत त्र उद्यम अस्त ब्राह्मण नाम किंजीव किंदेह किंजाति त्र प्रथम जीव ब्राह्मण चेत अतीत अनागत अनेक जीवस्य एकरूपत्वाद एकस्य अपि अनेक देह संभवात सर्व शरीराण जीवस्य एकत्वाच तस्माद जीव न ब्राह्मण तर्हि देह ब्राह्मण चेत तचंडालापर्यता मनुष्याण पांच भौतिक देहस्यूपरामरण धर्म अधर्मादी साम्य दर्शनात् ब्राह्मण श्वेतवर्ण क्षत्रिय रक्तवर्ण वैश्य पीतवर्ण शुद्र कृष्णवर्ण शुद्र कृष्ण 
ಪಿತ್ರಾದಿ ಶರೀರ ದಹನೆ ಪುತ್ರಾದಿ ದೋಷ ಸಂಭವಾಚ The meaning of Vajra Suchi means a needle which is very sharper, it can pierce anywhere. Same way Upanishad Atma Gnanam is as good as is a hard needle. It can pierce our ego, which we think our body, mind, sense complex. That's why the name of this Upanishad is given Vajra Suchi. And among this, we have seen there are some group of sadhana chatushtaya sampanna manushya they are sitting together and they are discussing and what they are discussing so they say chatvaraha varna there are four type of varna in old ways the people used to think but people used to tell varna nam brahmana eva pradana the main varna among these four varna is called brahmana is a superior brahmana is a superior is a important is a primary and where it is given to the sin veda vachana anurupa there are in many vedas they have given brahmana is the shrestha and smruti vihi api uktam so even many smruti granthas are also said brahmana is the superior is the shrestha is a primary then now we have to find out to whom we can call brahmana so tatra cha in this subject matter asya utyamah asti this is the one effort we have to do and that is kaha brahmana naam what is the name of brahmana to whom we can call brahmana can we call brahmana is a jeeva can we call brahmana is a deva can we call brahmana is a jati can we call brahmana is a gnana can we call brahmana is a karma or can we call brahmana is a dharmic so six options they have kept all people to whom we can call brahmana either jeeva deha or jati in an yesterday we have seen they have taken one fault can we call jeeva as a brahmana and they have argued and last they say we cannot tell any jeeva as a brahmana that we have seen yesterday so tatra prathamah jeevah brahmana iti chet so we have seen atit this jeeva has taken many lives many bodies in the past means atit means in the past anek deha naam so we can take atit anek deha na this jeeva has taken many bodies in the past this jeeva will take many bodies in future still it has not come anagata agata means come anagata which yet not come but because of agnana the jeeva has to take so there's why anek deha na and in every bodies from patita up to up to this body 
जीवस्य जीवा इज ओनली वन इफ जीवा कीप्स ऑन चेंजिंग देन हाउ कैन वी अंडरस्टैंड वेर वी आर सो जीवस्य एक एंड एकस्य जीवस्य व्हाई दिस वन जीवा इज टेकिंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ बॉडीज दे हैव गिवन द आंसर कर्मवशात एकस्य जीवस्य अपि कर्मवशात बिकॉज दे आर द अंडर द स्पेल ऑफ कर्मा एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस अनेक देह संभवात सो दे आर टेकिंग ए डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ देवा टू फुलफिल देयर ओन कर्म फल to experience their own karma phala that's why jiva is ek ha sharira mein bhi different in yesterday i have just shown you we can prove it deha ha many jiva ek ha so it is given in kaimalya upanishad so sah eva jiva same jiva janmantar karma yoga because they have taken मेनी कर्मा जन्मांतर मिस मेनी कर्मा बिकॉज ऑफ द कनेक्शन ऑफ कर्मा सब जीव स्वपिति कैन गो टू स्लीप और वी कैन से कैन डाय इन अगेन प्रबुद्ध कैन अवे एंड कैन टेक डिफरेंट बॉडी एंड इन सिक्स चैप्टर अर्जुन हेज आस्क क्वेश्चन टू लॉर्ड कृष्णा if one person is diligently perform karma yoga in that janma if that person cannot able to finish karma yoga then what will happen to that person who is performing karma yoga bhagwan says that's nashah na vidyate it is given in previous verse but bhagwan says such people shuchinam shrimatam gehe yoga prashtah vijayate such person is the born in somebody's cultured and wealthy family as a yoga prashtha but before that also punya krutan lokan prapya after that 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 person can go up to the punya loka maybe we can swarga bhu 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 hasu ha maha jana tapas satya any we can call is a punya loka ushitva having lived shashwati sama for long time then again so what agnihotra keep on performing why agnihotra does agnihotra because they would like to go in swarga loka and they would like to stay for long time same thing karma yogi can do so from this we can prove because bhagwan himself has told this karma yogi punya krutan lokan prapya शाश्वती समाहा उषित्वा उषित्वा मींस वस्त्र हैविंग लिव्ड देन शुचि नाम श्रीमता मींस सेम कर वयोगी हैव अनदर बर्थ एज अ योग भ्रष्ट एंड अनदर इफ योग भ्रष्ट इन नॉट श्रीमता गे है तो मे बी योगी नाम हैव सो सम फैमिली वे फ्रॉम चाइल्डहुड दे हैव एक्सेस ऑफ वेदास देयर चेंटिंग आर कंटीन्यूअस गोइंग ऑन इज कॉल्ड योगी नाम and which one is the better birth so bhagwan says yogi nam kule to be born is a durlabhataram janma idrusha this is the very rare so there are many suppose teni swami omkarana ji who is passed away last year because of corona his name is omkarana ji he was a master in karma kanda also and he was a master in vedanta also but he is born in this vedanta part of family so from birth only he started listen on vedanta that's why it is called durlabhatara even our this parmartha nanji from chennai who is very famous he is also born in some part so they are from childhood we have to understand what is kotha upanishad after age of 32 this from child they know what is kotha upanishad devi so this is durlabhataram and bhagwan says paurva dehi kam buddhi soya sanyogam labate there is a connection between past lives then we see some book like vedanta he pick up the thread and he starts from there only so this is proves jivah 
cannot be brahmana then second argument is tarhi deha is brahmana generally we think like that this person is brahmana <clears throat> it from which angle because he is born in the family of brahmana so uh, according to us this body this gross body is called brahmana so now we are discussing can we call is our gross body because jiva is subtle body so they have cancer subtle body cannot be brahmana then we can take as a gross body is a brahmana that's why they say deha means gross body subtle body is discussion is all now sukshma shari means stool shari da that's also says but now even we can we cannot tell our gross body is a brahmana why now they will start again one by one argument so first they say first argument is achandala achandala di paryantam manushyana pancha bhautikvena dehasya ekarupatva to achandala di paryantam starts from chandala the meaning of chandala means one who lives in cremation ground and one who gives the agni then he take care of this dead bodies are called chandala and even one who is inferior to chandala he <coughs> say shopaj in this come shopaj means one who eats dough chandala never eat dough but shopaj can eat the dough but chandala in our thinking is the lowest lowly <coughs> but this argument is starts from chandala adi means starts from chandala manushyanam paryanta we can take up to the very we can say very rich or very cultured person they have the same body means panch bhautik sharira is one so that's why pancha bhautik tvena dehasya ekarupatva because bhagwan what we have annamayam shariram is one annamaya kosha anna rasamayena bhutva annamaya rasena eva vrutte prapyam annamaya rase annamaya rase prutvim vilayati pralayam yati tattva bodha same all are made up of pancha bhautik tattva so this all gross bodies are same in material our body is nothing but panch bhuti means grossified akash vayu agni jal and prithvi this is nothing this stool sharira that's why how can we say this stool sharira who is panch bhuti sharira can be brahman this stool sharira cannot be brahmana because even chandal is panch bhuti sharira even brahmana has panch bhuti sharira shravesha shudra anything that's why i used to tell this material is said in each and every even not manushya even all animals pranis what are beings are available this panch bhuti deha kon is the same i have just quoted from manisha panchaka when shankaracharya ji was going after taking bath from ganga up to the kashishwar for darshanartha there is a one shopach chandala it just come in shankaracharya ji he says gachcha gachcha but really speaking when shankaracharya ji is at that post means post means he is the shiromani of all vedanta he is we can say is a uh, im embodiment of vedanta and nowadays somebody was talking swami ji is like a jangamam brahma is like a brahma only puja swami ji same way is shankara ji is better than swami ji then we can say shankara ji is nothing but is as good as brahma because he no i am not separate how can shankara ji can say that chakach to this chandala 
So I was thinking if Shankaracharya ji can raise Purva Pakshi in his Bhashya, there is a no Purva Pakshi, really speaking, but Purva Pakshi is just in his mind, he is popped up and he put because he would like to do Manana part. So from where he can argue. So he himself becomes Purva Pakshi and he himself argued and he just negated what Purva Pakshi has done. Same way here, in this Manisha Panchakam also, Shankaracharya himself created a chandala. Shankaracharya himself, he has written, I said gacha gacha. If you think any, consider a good person, he himself told, I did something like this. Nobody can do like this. So this is only to teach others. That's why Shankaracharya has written this. And he said to Dr. Chandala, please keep away from my side because I am going to have Darshana of Kashi Krishna. That's why this shloka was spoken by this Chandala. This Chandala says, to whom you would like to stay away? Gacha Gacha means you stay away from me. So he says, from, from whom you would like to stay away? Annamayat, Annamayam, you are asking, you keep your physical body from this physical body or Chaitanyam, Chaitanyat, Chaitanyat, Chaitanyam eva. Who will go away? If you say Annamayat, Annamayam, means I know your body was a Panchabhautika, my body is Panchabhautika, so how can I become Chandala? So I cannot keep Annamaya, Annamaya, and you keep on teaching Chaitanya Tattva is all pervading, then how can one Chaitanya can be away from other Chaitanya? So Chaitanya Teva Chaitanya, to whom? Durim Kartum Vanchasi, O Yativara means O Shrest, among all Sanyasi, from whom you are, you are desired to keep distance, Durim Kartum Vanchasi, and keep Ruhi. For which purpose you are saying gacha gacha? You tell me. And then whole Manisha Panchakam is a beautiful given. So means Panchabhotika Deha is the same from Chandala up to Manushya. How can Deha, which is made up of Panchabhotika Sharira, can be Brahmana? It cannot be possible. So first argument. Second argument they have done is Jara, Marana, Dharma, Adharma, Adi, Samya, Darshanat. We have seen one who is born is God. Samya, Darshanat means everything is same. Where? So in Chandala body or in even one who is a Pandita's body, what is the common? He says Jara, Marana. It only written this only, but we can say Janma, we can say Yauvanam, we can say up to Maranam. All these qualities of this Panchabhot, Panchabhotik Sharira is the same in everywhere. Even when a child is born in Chandala's house and Pandita is born in, if a child is born in Pandita's, Samya Darshana means every one who is born with body, the quality is the same. In a person who is in Manushya form, they are always, maybe does dharma also, they are committed to a dharma also. We can't say Brahmana is not committed to a dharma. There are many Brahmana are there, and nowadays almost all Brahmana are committed a dharma. So dharma, a dharma, Adi, we can put all pairs of opposite. All type of pairs of opposite are common in all human beings. Start from Chandala, Manushya Paryanta. But for this Jara Marana, I have quoted, because yesterday also I have told, we can prove it by Shruti, Smruti and Yukti. So whatever we can prove by Shruti, Smruti and Yukti, then they say, this is the truth. So how can we say this Pancha Bhautik Sharira is Jara Marana? 
So that's why I have quoted Kathopina Shruti in this mantra is told by our Nachiketa. Because when father has said, I am sending you in Yamadharma Raja, then he was uh, re regretting what I have spoken for you. You should not go. This is only out of anger I have told you. Then Nachiketa has given this mantra and he says, O oh, father, Anupashya Yadha Purve. What our forefather has done before us, you just look at and Pratipashya Tatha Pure in now in contemporary. While we are living, you look how our other Rushis are living their life. And what is my thinking? He says, Sasyam Eva Martyaha Pachyate. I have discussed one this one time the meaning of Sasyam is equal to grass. In rainy season, without any plantation, all grass keep on coming. And when the rain stops slowly, this sasyam, without any noticing, they just go away. Because nobody is pouring water now. So this type of grass, when water comes, they come out, there is a no water, they go. So nobody noticed this poor sasyam is born and nobody noticed this sasyam is born. Same way, this martyaha is like sasyam only. He says, martyaha means manushya. The meaning of martyaha means one who are deserved for mrityu is called martyam. We all are called martyam. Martyam means maranashilaha martyaha. The one whose nature is to die is called maranashila martyaha. So all beings are martyam. He says these all martyam are pachyate, which just they are killed like sasya, this poor grass. Nobody noticed. Same way, we don't know how many births we have taken and how many deaths we have gone through. So sasya meva martyaha pachyate. And again, poor this jiva, sasya meva ajayate puna. They never go, they never moksha. Again, they will come back. Again, rain come, they will come back. Ajayate punaha. Again, they are born like what? Sasya. Like this small grass comes when rain comes, they go on. When rain stops, same way this poor jiva, jiva means martyr, manushyaha, or any beings, they are coming, they are, they are jayate, they are briyate, like Vanaspati only. Like this grass only, this will show in my thinking Vairagya of Nachiketa. How much he was thinking? What, why should we give too much importance to this Thula Sharira? We don't know how many Thula Sharira we have taken a birth. So why should we have too much serious? He says, because his father was worried, no? If you go to Yamadharma Raja, you will go, you will destroy, you will die. So he says, I am like Sasyam also. I have gone, I will go. It doesn't mean I won't come. So Punarapi Jananam, Punarapi Maranam, like this small grass. Means here they would like to convey Shruti. Every being says, Chara Maranam. They have old age. In Mrityu, we can also so Janma and everything. I have quoted again our Smruti Grantha means Gita because we love Gita. So we have studied. Bhagavan says, Dehinaha, one who has Deha, he undergoes in Dehe, Kaumaram, Yogvanam, Jara. He goes under two different type of states like Kaumaram, Yogvanam, Jara in the same way Dehantara Prapti. Same way this body will die. Means each and every body are fraught with Jara Marana, all type of. See, Samya Darshanam, this is not uncommon, this is the common. So, we should. So, how can you say this, sim, this one body is only Brahman, one category is Brahman, you can't. Say. And I have just written Anubhava. We know 
who is born, definitely that person is gone. So just I have quoted somebody's devices. Every day in the newspaper, it comes, somebody has died. So even our Anubhava says, one who is born, one who is gone. Anybody is a Brahmana or a Chandala, so is common. Then how can you say only this particular Dehaha is called Brahmana? We can't say. And even he says, Dharma or Dharma are common in Sati Yuga also. Dharma or Dharma common in Dwapara and Dharma or Dharma in Kali Yuga. So Sati Yuga, there are many stories, need not to go. But in Treta Yuga, Dashratha lives a life of Dharma. In that Yuga, Ravana was there. In Dwapara, Pandava lived a life of Dharma. Kaurava was there. Here in Kali Yuga, we keep on saying there are many Dharmika and there are more Dharmika. So how can we define this Dharmic people and Adharmic people? Is This is our Brahmana, these are not Brahmana. We have no right. Adi, we can put any pairs of opposite. So they have put only Dharma, Dharma, Mana, Mana, anything. Mana, Mana, anything. Even Kshudha Pipasa, everybody has hunger, everybody has thirst. This is everything common in every way. Then how can you say even Brahmana can breathe and Chandala can breathe? Everybody's breathing is common, everything is common. Then why this Pant Brahmana are special people? There is a no such thing. This is a second argument. That's why we can't say Dehaha is equal to Brahmana. First, they have called why Dehaha is not Brahmana because everybody are made up of Pancha Mahabhuta. That's why Deha is then. Second argument this gross body undergoes different type of modification. It is the same in all being. This is a, we can't say Brahmana is different. And third argument they did is they say, have you seen anywhere Brahmana is Sattvic, Tattva, Guna, predominant, so their skin is fair. So have you seen Brahmana is Shweta Varnaha, Kshatriya is Rakta Varnaha, Vaishyaha has Pita Varnaha, and Krishna Varna is, belongs to Shudra. Have you seen any time? Anywhere in Shastra given, Brahmana should have only fair skin. Is written anywhere? If Kshatriya is always ready to fight for our country, so this is always their anger. So have you seen? Whenever you see a red skin, we, we can tell, oh, this is Kshatriya. Can we say like, say like that? And this Vaishya is always a little bit greedy, you know, lobbying. So we can say they have yellow color. So one who doesn't have proper hemoglobin, one whose skin is yellow, or one who has even jaundice, can we see, oh, this is Vaishya. We can't say, in poor Shudraha, one who are in dark in skin, can we say, this is Shudraha. There is a no rule such like, then how can you say, this is Brahmana and this is not Brahmana? This is, we can't say like this. This is the third ar argument. Fourth argument, they have done beautifully. This is called yukti. What I have yesterday, yukti means reasoning. So they have used one word in this sentence, is called brahmahatya. What is the meaning of brahmahatya? A person who kills brahmana is called brahmahatya. Many times we have said in our sotra, Brahma Hatya Vimuchyate, the Dosha Vimuchyate. So there is, they consider as a very big Papa, one who kills a Brahmana. Now they are arguing. This is the beautiful argument. They say, if Brahmana Deha is equal to Brahmana, so it says, Joshi, Vyas, there are many Brahmanas, they all bodies is Brahmana only, you know, because Jiva will travel, Jiva is not Brahmana. If Deha is Brahmana and some Brahmana father dies, means Deha, which is Brahmana, is dies. 
Then what is the duty of his son? They have to give fire. So he is giving a fire to his dead father. But father is Brahmana. So he must have Brahma Hatya Papu. Because they don't say live or not. <laughs> so if say if they can give a fire to the fire, this last ritual for his father. So each and every son of Brahmana we have the dosha of Brahma Hatya. How can it possible? So they have given Pitradi, means Pitruadi. Pitru means father. If Pitru is not one who goes after, you will you will learn more later on so that Pitru is the word. Pitru is our father's. So Pitru Adi. So even mother is Brahmana also. So Sharira Dahane. If they are died, then they have to do last ritual of Sharira Dahana. And who will do? So Putra Dhina, whatever their son or daughter, they will do this last ritual. Then this all will get Brahma Hatya Didosha. It is made also possibility. But nobody says after giving the fire ritual, now you have Brahma Hatya Dosha. Now again you do something. This is not like such. This is written here. I have written here. Brahma Hatya means to kill Brahmana. Therefore, each and every body of Brahmana day is equal to Brahmana. And if such Brahmana day, father dies, the son does last ritual, Agni Sanskara, with all this loti and everything they do production. A poor boy, when he gives that last fire ritual, then Brahman Putra has a dosh of Brahma Hatya. Because for them, Deha is equal to Brahma. But it is not like such rule. Then how can you say Deha is equal to Brahma? Tasmat Deha na Brahmana. Tasmat means after arguing four arguments, we can conclude this Deha, Sthula Deha is not Brahmana. So we cannot take as a stool they have as a Brahmana. So two arguments they have done. First, Sukshma Sharira cannot be Brahmana. Jiva Hame Sukshma Sharira is equal to Jiva is not equal to Brahmana. Second one is stool Sharira. To whom we call as a body, Deha, is not equal to Brahmana. Then third argument, can we call the Jati? Jati, no? We say this is a Brahmana Jati, Kshatriya Jati. So can we call Jati as a Brahmana? Now, third argument has been started. Tarhi Jati hi Brahmana ha Iti chet Na Tatra Antar jantushu Tatra jati Antar jantushu Anika Jati Sambhava Maharshaya Bahavaha Santi Rishishyanya Rudyaha Kaushikaha Kushat Jambukaha Jambukat Balmikaha Balmikat Balmikaha Vyasaha 
कैवर्तक कन्यकाया गौतम वशिष्ठ पूर्वश्याम आगत्य कलशे श्रुतवाद्या ज्ञान प्रतिपादिता ऋषय बहव सी ब्राह्मण तर्ही देन वी कैन टेक अनदर थिंग तर्ही मीन्स देन आफ्टर we have negated stool deha cannot be brahmana even jeeva sukshma sharira cannot be brahmana then can we take jati brahmana iti che then again says no it cannot be possible and why to so they have say anek jati antar jantu shu whenever jantu kam no we think there are small insect is called jantu but really speaking jantu is equal to one who jayate is called jantu one who can born is called jantu even we are jantu it because we are born so jantu means one who is jayate so he says there are many antar there are different type of uh, jati from where there are different type of rushis are born so if we say from back maharshayah bahavah santi maharshayah means is a plural of maharshi there are many mahan rushi maharshi means maharshi there are many great rishis are called bahavah means many there are many maharushi there are grand rushi they are anek jati sambhava they are born not naturally they have from suppose they they have written valmika so actually how this valmika is born how this uh, vishwamitra is born there are different even vyasa so each and every rushi is anek jati sambhava sambhava means they are born in different jati sometimes even they are born from even animals so anek jati this anek jati they are symboled as antar jantu there are different type of yonis or different type of animals birds from there there are many rushis are born then how can you say one who is born from brahmana family is only brahman so this is they have given the list of rushi so all this rushi are not born in brahmanas jati so one by one if we say then we we'll say then good story they say rushi shringa ha mrugya ha this rushi shringa rushi is born from deer they have said from deer kaushika ha kushat so one meaning of kusha is grass but there is a whole dynasty comes from kusha raja so is a raja means kshatriya so there is a maharshi kaushika is a vishwamitra jambu kaha jambu ka this jambu kaha rushi is for kshudra is a jambu ka story is there valmi kaha valmi ka this rover actually new incarnation is from ant hill this is a valmika and we know from where veda vyasa is born it is born from what man's daughter kaivartaka keshava kaivartaka means a what man kanya ka means satyavati shushaprasthat gautama this gautama rushi is born 
फ्रॉम रेविच वशिष्ठ फ्रॉम उर्वशी अगस्य फ्रॉम फोर्ट एवरीबडी इज दैट डिफरेंट स्टोरी नो बड इज बोर्न फ्रॉम रेग्युलर फ्रॉम ब्राह्मण बट स्टील वी आर गिविंग द रिस्पेक्ट देन हाउ कैन यू कॉल दिस ऑल ऋषि आर नॉट ब्राह्मण so we can't say only jati is equal to brahma this is one by one we will see rushi shringa is born from mrugya means mrugi mrugi means hiran baby mother so just i have split sandhi that we can see tar hi jati hi brahmana iti chet then we can take jati is equal to brahmana so one who wear this upanaya is called brahmana again they have say no it cannot be possible and for which reason so this what i have said jati antar jan pushu anek jati sambhavah maharshayah bahavah santi there are many mahan rishis are there so this is the story of rishi shringa but detail हरिगुरु नम हरि ओम